Mother Earth is hurting. The unsafe practices of the coal and the mining and the transportation of energy. We need to be aware of what we're doing. Uh, we've come to realize that all the tribes are pretty much engaged in trying to protect their environment. You know, some are battling uh, fracking, some are battling coal trains, oil trains. Moderate opportunity versus traditional obligation. And we know that by working together, we remind them that they have a traditional commitment to the earth. The idea is to uh, get people to exercise their voice. See and see the too likely of what we see. More and more tribes are starting to find their voice in, in standing up to big fossil fuel extraction um, on their land. Uh, and I think we're actually starting to listen to them. You know, people might think that they're uh, like, wow, you know, all these Indian nations are becoming active, but what's going on, I really believe, is that at one time uh, in the past, you could uh, oppress the people and you could control the media, you know, and uh, the news never got out. But that time is gone. Even if the newspaper and the television or radio don't broadcast it, textbook, text messaging, Facebook, you know, all these uh, social media, uh, they're, they're quick. It's instant. It's worldwide. We're warriors. We're, we're, we're earth warriors. I consider myself our earth protector, you know. Because we have relatives, we have friends, we have people that, you know, they, they see what Lummi and, and our, us Coast Salish people have come together to stop the coal terminal. Mm -hmm.